Hi everyone, this is Puneet Grover. Welcome to Coding with Puneet. This is the second video of unit test cases. Earlier we read about how unit test cases work, what is unit test cases, how can you write your first unit test case. Now this is the advanced topic of unit test cases where we will talk about Hamcrest. So what is Hamcrest library? Hamcrest library is a framework for writing mature objects. That means it provides range of mature objects to compare two objects. It actually works with the assert that function. So if you remember, we had worked with assert true, assert false, assert equals, assert not equals. So these are all part of the J unit. But this assert that is part of Hamcrest. And with that, it provides so many major functions. For example, any of, not, instance of, equal to, and so many functions. So by these major objects, writing unit test cases will be very very easier and in a more readable way and very important point here to note is hamcrest is not specific to android only it can be used in any language for example java kotlin and so on so today we will discuss about hamcrest library how can we write test cases so there are so many things if you want to improve your testing skills and want your testing skills to go at next level then this video is definitely for you so let's get started quickly so I'll continue with the last project which we had created for unit test cases and this is the dependency we need for hamcrest, .hamcrest, .hamcrest and so on. Now let's see how can we create test cases for that. For example, I want to create test cases for this. Uh, we have this function. Let's right click that, generate, test. Again, this is the same thing which I had already explained. So I'm going very quickly. Okay, so now this is what we have. Now let's see how Hamcrest helps you. So let's here talk about the matches, which is very important part of, you know, Hamcrest. How can we do that? Let's create one function to, you know, see the use of equal to. Again, we have to use test annotation here. I'm just simulating that just to give you an example. See, uh, I already told that here we have to use assert that. The same I'll be doing here, assert that. Now it requires actual and mature, right? Let's give actual. Now it requires mature. And we have mature, for example, equal to. Here if you can see here, this is asking for to import the equal to which is part of Hamcrest. This is how it works. Let's run the test case. And yes, this test case has been passed. Let's see the next mature that is instance of just to simulate it let's create any object for example it is of string type coding with okay now let's see how can we do that again same assert that actual actual is your object and here we have to use instance of instance of string class java that means are this object is instance of string or not this is what we need from this test case. Let's run this test case again and see how it looks. Again, this test case has been passed. Now let's talk about the next mature function. That is not. Let's say again, just use two strings here. For example, coding with. Let's change the string and see. Again, assert that. Here this means that this actual string is not equal to the expected string. Let's run this test case and see that again this test case has also passed. Now let's see how can we implement the next matcher here. Again let's say we are using coding with string. Here I'll be using any of. So here any of means it can be any out of two matches. For example let's say uh, one matcher we can use equal, equal to. That means we have used two matches here. So that means this actual string can be equal to goodbye or can contain with. So either any of the mature matches, that means this test case will pass, otherwise this test case will fail. So this is the beauty of Hamcrest. So that means there are so many functions by which we can test our functionality. So this is how Hamcrest works. Let's run this test case and see. Again, that is working. Let's run this complete test class see all of the test cases are passed where we have learned about test not any of instance of equal to so that's it guys this is how hamcrest library works that means it provides so many matches by which we can write our test cases in a very easy way that is why hamcrest library is very very 
popular and very important to understand. With that, if you want to learn about the UI test cases, I have already created one video on the UI test cases. You can find the link in the description below. And if you like my video, I would say please subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. I will see you in the next video. Take care. See you. Bye-bye.